Here's an update on my Dracaena, guys, on my cornstalk. Look how big it's, it's doing great. Let's start with that. It is thriving, and it does have the most famous thing that Dracaenas always have at the tip. It's in my shower right now because I'm about to shower it. So it is getting taller, guys. It's thriving. Look at it. Look how tall it is. And it's just, you know... I'm huffing and puffing because this plant is flipping heavy, guys. And I decided to show you guys the growth on how big it's gotten from the last time I purchased it. I will go ahead and put a clip on there so you see how short it was. And I just had to lift this up and put it in the shower. So it's super heavy. So yeah, it's doing great. It's thriving. I'm happy. It's happy. And this is how I actually water it. Yep. I don't have one of those um, handle showers where you can just detach it and shower it. I will be getting one of those soon. So this is what I do so far. Well, this is the first shower that it's ever had, to be honest with you. Because when I water it, I just water it like a regular small plant. But I feel like it needs more than that because it's a big plant. Big and tall. I love it. It's beautiful. It complements the complement, excuse me, the space that it's in in my house. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna turn it around. It's soaked already, to be honest with you. Look at the bottom of it. Uh oh. You can get it on too hot. But it's warm. Oh, it's warm. Hello. I love my babies. They deserve to be showered and pampered. And yes, I will be cleaning her. Off and all these dead leaves. Yep, so that's the update. I think it's been like um two no, it's probably been a month now, guys, since I purchased her. Yeah, I think that's how long it's been. Not sure. If anything, I'll just put it down below. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the shower now. She's good. She's Gucci. <laughs> Gucci means good. You gotta love the scenes because they always got dry leaves, but that don't mean bad. It means great because they're giving space for the rest of them that needs to push out. So, okay, so I don't have, no, okay. There's more good leaves, I think, over here, no. Guess not. All right. We gotta get, get deep in it to see if there's any more dead leaves. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, I think I'm done. These I will trim with the scissors. But yeah, look at her. She is beautiful. Such a beautiful plant. Great investment. I'm so glad I purchased her. So, so glad. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm just going to leave her here to dry up a little bit. And then I will come back and wipe down her leaves. 
Oh, whatever. What is this, guys? I hate it when they brown up like that, but that's just the life cycle of these plants. <laughs> I don't hate it. I dislike it. If I hated it, I wouldn't buy her. But yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to be back to show you what she looks like after that. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll try my best, though. Okay, this, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, from my last purchase for this Begonia Maculata on um, how it, how I purchased it, like the stage that it was in and how beautiful it was and what it looks like now. So I'm just showing you guys an update. She is still thriving. She's beautiful. So far, so good. Don't want to put, um, <laughs> don't want to say anything negative so I won't jinx myself. But yeah, she's doing great. She's beautiful and she is just growing, shooting out new leaves. Look at this one. This is so cute. And it's funny how they come out of that little bud that they're in. It's funny, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful leaf. And here goes another new growth. Look at that. Such a beautiful plant. So pretty. So, so pretty. Yep, so that's the update with this plant here. So, I mean, she didn't grow in, in like height wise. She didn't get tall at all, to be honest with you, because she still got these little sticks here. But she did shoot out some new leaves, though. She did. Besides the ones that I showed you, she did shoot out more than that. So she's happy. I leave her right here on the window shield. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of other plants there with her. She drinks a lot of water, guys. So be careful with begonias. Gotta watch them things because they love water. But yeah, I give her, maybe that's probably why she got these dry leaves on the bottom because I give her like um, sink water, um, faucet water. Um, I don't give her, but what I do with my faucet water is I let it sit within 24 hours in this little water thing water plastic jug thing whatever you want to call it let it sit for at least 24 hours and in here i have like mosquito bites if you're wondering what that is i just let the mosquito bites sit in there and soak in there for a little bit and then within the 24 hours as well and then that's how i water my plants so far so good i don't have any gnats in here i hope not maybe i just can't see them but i don't have any in there so far so that's a good thing. If you guys are wondering what's this thing on my hand, I was just um I was just removing the dead leaves from my Dracaena corn stalk. So yeah, that's basically what that was. All right. So yeah, she's beautiful. She's on her thing. She's happy and I'm happy. That's the update with this plant here. So I mean, she didn't grow in, in like height-wise. She didn't get tall at all. To be honest with you, cuz she still got these little sticks here. But she did shoot out some new leaves, though. She did. Besides the ones that I showed you, she did shoot out more than that. So she's happy. I leave her right here on the window shield. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of other plants there with her. She drinks a lot of water, guys. So be careful with begonias. Got to watch them things because they love water. But yeah, I give her, maybe that's probably why she got these dry leaves on the bottom because I give her like um, sink water, um, faucet water. Um, I don't give her, but what I do with my faucet water is I let it sit within 24 hours in this little water thing, water plastic jug thing, whatever you want to call it. Let it sit for at least 24 hours and in here, I have like mosquito bites if you're wondering what that is. I just let the mosquito bites sit in there and soak in there for a little bit. And then within the 24 hours as well. And then that's how I water my plants. 
So far, so good. I don't have any gnats in here. I hope not. Maybe I just can't see them, but I don't have any in there so far. So that's a good thing. If you guys are wondering what's this thing on my hand, I was just, um, I was just removing the dead leaves from my Dracaena corn stalk. So yeah, that's basically what that was. All right. So yeah, she's beautiful. She's doing her thing. She's happy and I'm happy. And then last but not least, I don't know if you guys remember me purchasing my silver bay. I'm going to post the, like I said, the video on top when I made my purchase. Um, I think I purchased these plants at Lowe's or Walmart. At Walmart. Yes. So this is the update with her. I love her because she doesn't require a lot of water at all. And she just grows. I put her where my, um, whatchamacallit um under my grow light and she's doing good not that she needs grow light to grow but i just put her there because she makes a huge statement in my plant shelf she's a beautiful plant and i do not regret making the purchase at all and she's steady shooting out new leaves this girl yes she be doing her thing by herself she does not require any any maintenance at all at all so this is the best plant anybody can have i promise you guys the best plant ever i'm not joking <laughs> not at all but yeah this is the update on her she's gotten big she's gotten big so far so far so good yep oh. real hot girl shit.